What's going on guys, it's Kyle Persley again, digital marketing consultant, agency owner, and business consultant. And today I wanna to go over why tradesmen and people who are really good at what they do fail in business. All right, and this is something that I learned too. All right, I was really, really good at running Facebook ads. I've managed over $36 million in ad spend. And the thing is, I didn't have a successful agency because I was not running a business. I was the guy that ran ads, right? So think about this. You know, especially in the home services industry where you're taking the time at the end of the day to maybe it's a plumber, plumber, plumbers, electricians. These are HVAC. They're high demand skills that people need all over. But every all the really good tradesmen are super duper busy because of one thing. And I'll go into that one thing here in a second. But the reality is they get really busy, you know, and they don't know how to uh, book their business out you know, plan their business, set good expectations and could have great have systems uh, and processes in place. And also maybe they're maybe they're even afraid to ask for help because they're too busy with something else besides their pride and ego. All right, just stuff happens. Now, the one thing, the main thing here is the reason why the number one thing and why they cannot run a business is because they know how to swing a hammer, but don't know how to pr uh, project manage people who can swing hammers. What does this mean? Okay, so for example, in the digital marketing space, you know, you learn a high ticket sales, you learn about uh, fulfillment, funnels, website design, Facebook ads, project management, sales managing, all this stuff, right? All these team members and whatnot, but they lack creating pillars in their business so that way they can fire themselves from various different tasks in their business so that way they can become a business owner. They don't know how to become a CEO. Oh, so therefore the job of a CEO is to see the overall operations, but at the same time overcome the bottleneck. So when you overcome someone who can sell for you, instead of you selling for you, having someone sell for you, and then from that point, you have other contractors taking care of the business, and that way you can create something called an assembly line. They do not know how to create an assembly line, all right? So first things first, when people are going into learning a new business or, or something like that, typically people need to go in there go into education mode, learn the skill sets, and then take all these skill sets and turn it into a business by creating systems and processes around it and then having people um, work in those systems and processes to create an overall assembly line to keep things organized, all right? So that is the reason why lots of people are super duper busy and in their businesses and they're not able to become uh, successful like where they want to be. Remember, it's, it's leverage. Right, you want that leverage to compound, so that way you can grow your business, grow your life, and live the best life that you can. So, if you're looking to start a business, first and foremost, definitely learn your skill sets, but then document the processes of learning those. Do sorry, excuse me. Document the process of doing that skill that create a certain bigger picture, and then plugging people in there, and then over time you can overcome the. Um, the rat race, the, the hamster wheel of you pretty much being stuck in the same place, not being able to grow your business. All right. So learn, adapt, execute, overcome. And I hope this helped you all uh, succeed in your business further to come. Let me know your thoughts, your processes in there. And if we can create a, a further video on how to bring you more clarity to help you run your businesses in a more efficient way, let me know. And if you're looking to scale your companies, meaning you're ready to uh, create systems processes, whether it's in uh, systems and automation, client acquisition, assistance team members, and then you go into lifestyle and productivity and elevating yourself as an entrepreneur, making it scale, S-C-A-L-E, you can let me know and we can check check out the link scale.personalmarketingsolutions.com and you can see exactly how we are scaling our own businesses and practicing what we preach. All right, thank you so much. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and share this video to someone that you care about that you want them to see to succeed. All right. Thank you so much. Learn, adapt, execute, overcome. And I'll see you next time. Pssh.